times. Uh, you and I have had this conversation, I don't know how many times that, you know, it's, it's in our following, it's in our obeying. It's even if it's little steps, man, even if it's just baby steps, even if it's just steps that are kind of laced with fear or un uncertainty or I, I want to believe, but I'm just, I don't know, there's some, there's some doubt and stuff that's going on in my head. Even if we obey, even if like that, in that condition and under those circumstances, that's still obedience. And I'm not going to let some, you know, prosperity gospel preacher, teacher guy make me feel guilt or shame because I have fear or uh, uncertainty. I'm going to learn and practice and continue to obey even in the midst of that. And, and then as we do, you know, our strength grows and our, our, we are encouraged by, by the spirit of God and by, uh, um, by the simple fact of, of obeying and, and following. And then right there in John nine and verse 11, he says, I, um, you know, the conversation is going on. Who, who healed you? Who opened your eyes? He's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I was blind before he did it. All right. So I didn't see, but all I know is he told me to go and to wash my eyes. And so I did. And then that operative word there says, then, then I could see. And so, um, you know, for me and you encouraging each other and encouraging other guys to to keep following, even when, you know, there's some, some, I don't know, there's, there's strength in that kind of obedience anyway. Cool. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So, 